Hey guys, uh, we're back again. Wanted to give you an update on our third week here in Louisville. Yeah, we went to the zoo, had orientation this week. Had the whole day, they babysat the kids. Uh, we had lunch with the um, professor. I also, uh, this weekend, I tried out the um, Southern uh, Gym. It's pretty cool. Um, so I might try that this year and see if that can keep me healthy. Tomorrow, school starts. Homeschooling starts for us. So there's a lot of just paperwork and school supplies and things to get done. David starts his classes. The kids are all sick. It's been a couple days now. Um, it didn't allow me to like go to church this morning, which was a bummer. David was visiting another church. So I would love prayer for them to just get better. Uh, I'm going to a clinic tomorrow to see about some problems I've been having with my feet. I'd love prayer for wisdom that the dermatologist would be able to direct me to a good um, solution for my my foot. <laughs> <laughs> so these last couple weeks I've been getting a, a head start on some of my reading for class and um, one of the things that God's really been working in my heart reading a biography of George Mueller and um, just really wanting to be uh, more of a prayer warrior for Paul Vista, for our family, uh, in my own life and um, that's, that's been a, a pretty big um, burden these last few weeks. So just be praying for us as well that uh, we're able to really... Um, grow and see changes <laughs> in the craziness of life. It's normally $23 for one adult to get in here and we got in for free. To go in gymnastics? Yeah. <laughs> when we went to the zoo, they had a really cool Lego display. So all throughout our time there, we were able to see these beautiful Lego creations, which were really cool. And they had a splash pad, which was perfect because it was such a hot day. And we were able to play around with the kids. They just went in with their clothes and had a blast cooling off. I think it really helped the rest the second half of the day to go a lot better because of uh, cooling off in the water. So, so Olivia having a great time with Daddy. She was so excited. And the kids slid down the slides they had there, and it was great. It took them 86,000 bricks and 726 hours to make. What a cool exhibit at the zoo. All I wanted to see was the elephant. Now we can leave. All right, bye, elephant. The He's elephant coming at us. and the giraffe. Covered in mud. We made it. So we did the zoo with four. Thanks for coming with us. Come on, guys, let's go. Solomon, what animal would you be from the zoo? A penguin. And about what about what animal would you be? Would a you be snake. A girl snake. And a girl vampire. Yeah, what about you? <laughs> I want to be a, a polar bear. What I do? You go to the zoo? Yeah. You just be yourself at the zoo? Yes. We should put you in a cage. <laughs> Letters in the mail! <laughs> Annabelle, this one's for you. Thank you. Ready to show features. Annabelle, what do you say? Thank you. I think I spent three hours doing paperwork this morning and the kids were just tearing up the house and now I'm at the post office. Nothing really exciting going on here but getting stuff done because next week we start school, daddy starts school, we start homeschooling. You guys like your cards? Yeah. Are they so pretty? What does it say?
This is the smallest Walmart I have ever even heard of in my entire life. What is this? I think it's just a grocery store. I'm so confused. This is what's crazy here. It's a super tiny Walmart. This is the only aisle that has supplies. And yet, it's not completely picked over. And that found me some 50 cent crayons. <laughs> Can I see your creation, buddy? It's like daddy. Wow. Oh, nice. So I'm still dry. Well, that's the cool thing about hot glue gun. It dries super fast. That's pretty cool, banana. Last week before school starts. Going to school with daddy. So. We were gonna get here at 7.45 in the morning because childcare was supposed to open at 7.45. But childcare doesn't open till nine. Um, things are just running a little behind and that's totally fine. But I just thought, how kind of the Lord, because we could have been crazy and rushed out the door and like not eaten any breakfast and gotten here right at 7.45. And then we would have just been waiting here for an hour and a half. The kids are all here. We're excited, orientation. focus on not just training men and women's uh, minds theologically, but training them to be disciples of Christ, to understand theology, but also put that into practice in their own lives. Where did you guys go? Any other things that happened today? Oh, we won. We won two free days of babysitting. We were the only ones who had four kids ages 10 and under. And then another family right behind us won two free nights at the Legacy Hotel, which is a hotel that is on campus. And they totally gave it to us. And we're just really like thankful. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I spent most of the morning doing paperwork and I heard Olivia in here. Can you put it down here at the bottom drawer? Today, I was supposed to go to a Bible study, and all my kids had major stomach aches, major like headaches and runny nose, and we're all feeling yuck. <laughs> but here's our win for the day. Found every single library book that we rented, so that's that's our win. That's, but we'll take that. Give me a heads up before you start interviewing me. 